So I'm not who I used to be. And so I don't have to be ashamed. He that believes in the Jesus shall not be ashamed. But see, here's the first. See, I'm, I'm trying to show you how to get to destiny. First, you have to have a covenant with God. And if you're taking notes, write that down. And if you're, is this being recorded? Yes. Fantastic. Let me say this. Um, I am not in so much to style. I'm too old for style. I'm not into presentation. I'm into substance and content. Mm. I'm too old to jump on the pew. I'm not running any aisles. I'm conserving my strength. If you're 20, feel free. Run the aisle, do all that stuff. Look at somebody say, do it while you can. Do it while you can. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I mean what I'm saying with all my heart, but I'm standing on two bricks and preaching to you. <laughs> Listen to me carefully. It is through covenant that you get to know Jesus intimately. That means I'm going to, look at somebody say, when you cut a covenant with God, you intend to obey the word of the Lord, and you do what God's word says. Now, I'm, I'm teaching. Now, I'm going to take my time to teach. Because, see, here's what happens with a miracle. You got the miracle and it's done, but the word of God abides forever. Come on. Did you hear me? Yes. So, if you want to reach destiny, you need to cut a covenant with God. And commit your life to obey the teaching of Jesus Christ. Notice, this is the first place the spiritual father takes his son. Mm. Come on now. Look at somebody say, you need to get rid of your shame. Get rid of shame. See, Jesus, listen to me. Jesus took my shame upon himself. And in exchange, made me acceptable to the father. Man, come on, man. Yeah. So he says, he says to the to his spiritual son, you can stay right here. You can have this school right here. He said, I ain't staying right here. Look at somebody said, I'm not gonna stay where I am right now. I'm moving on with God. Next place they go to is they go to Bethel. Well, if you look at the history of Bethel, Bethel is the place that Jacob stopped one night and had a dream and a visitation and he saw a stairway to heaven and angels of God ascending and descending and he woke up and he said the Lord is in this place and so the older prophet says to the younger prophet the father says to his son the Lord has sent me to Bethel I want to have more than a covenant with God I want to know the presence of God mm. yes. come on now why don't you stay right here? Oh, yeah. You're walking in obedience to God. Now you know the presence. Or you, can, you can be satisfied right here if you want to be. He said, I don't know. The Lord lives. If your soul lives, I'm not stopping here. Look at somebody say, I want to know the Lord and his presence. Now look at somebody say, as I keep my covenant with God, as I obey God's word, I get to know God and his presence. But I'm not stopping there. Oh, no, no, I'm preaching something. I'm, I'm going somewhere. I, it, you know. So he wouldn't stop there. So they went to Jericho. Now, Jericho was the place where it was a walled city. And it looked like there was an enemy that couldn't be defeated. But Jericho was the place where the Lord broke through. Amen. So now what you could do if you wanted to is you can learn the word of God and put it into practice and stop there. Or you can say, I'm going to learn the word of God, put it into practice until I know the Lord in his presence. And then you can say, I'm going to know the word of God, put it into practice, I'm going to know the Lord in his presence, and I'm going to get a breakthrough. <laughs> but some people, they continue with their breakthrough. Look at somebody said the older prophet spoke to the younger prophet. Come on. And said, you can stay here if you want to. 
But the son said to his father, he said, no, 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 as the Lord lives as you live. Bottom. Don't worry about it. Everybody go, Paul. <laughs> we push the pause, but not the message. Excellent. <laughs> And yes, you need a personal breakthrough. Yes, you need a breakthrough in your marriage. Yes, you need a breakthrough with your kids. Yes, you need a breakthrough in your finances. Yes, you need a breakthrough. Because the Lord is the God of the breakthrough. But look at somebody and say, don't stop there. Then he says, watch this. He says, the, the, the father says to the son, the Lord has sent me to Jordan. Jordan means descending and God's way, the way of God. Look at somebody and say, it's not enough for you to obey God's word. It's not enough for you to know his presence. Look at somebody and say, it's not enough for you to get your breakthroughs. Look at somebody and say, you got to go to Jordan. Now, Jordan represents dying to sin and dying to self. Right. If you remember, John the forerunner, the forerunner of Jesus, baptized people in the what? Jordan River. Everybody say repentance. repentance. So you have Matthew uh, 3 and 2 where he says, repent for the kingdom of heaven's at hand. With, look at somebody say, the domain of the king is within your reach. But look at somebody say, but you're going to have to repent. To know the king intimately. Now, I'll just say this in passing. The Greek word here for repent is metanoia, which means to think or rethink. It means to, to make a decision. It means to change your mind. And later on in Matthew 3 and 8, it says, bring forth fruit in keeping with repentance. So in other words, I got to Die to sin and die to self. Now, isn't it crazy? You can start obeying the word and you haven't yet died to yourself. You can experience God's presence, but you have yet to die to self. Everybody say, Jordan represents the way of God. Jesus did the work of the cross, but Jesus also walked the way of the cross. Jesus said, follow me. Where is he going? Look at somebody and say, to his death. Look at somebody and say, where do you think God's taking you? Look at somebody and say, death to self, death to your way, and death to sin. So now, look at this. You can even have breakthroughs. So now he takes his mantle. Now I'm going, I said all this to say something. He takes his mantle, strikes the waters. <laughs> uh, and the waters part, the land becomes dry, they walk through, and now he asks the question. Here's this question. He says, what do you want me to give you? He says, uh, I want a double portion of your spirit. Look at somebody and say, I want my spiritual inheritance. Now, listen to me carefully. He says, you've asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me when I'm gone, it shall be so. If you don't see me, it shall not be so. In the Hebrew, here's what it actually says. If you see eye to eye. Look at somebody say, Jesus says, Jesus says, if you continue to see eye to eye with me, you're going to get your inheritance. The Lord, look at somebody say, and the Lord has an inheritance for 